Hey, so for this singing lesson, I wanted to do a few of the solfege exercises that are more like singing a real song. So how this works, if you haven't done it in my previous videos, is I'm going to sing the melody for you a few times, and then I'm going to stop singing, and I want you to continue singing the melody, and uh, I'll play it in the keyboard so you don't get lost or anything. If you get lost, with respect to the solfege, the syllables you're singing. I'll have that in the description so you can reference that as you're going along. So to start out, here's the melody. Do, ti, re, do, ti, sol, re, mi, fa. Do ti do, do ti re, do ti so re mi fa. Do ti do, do ti re, do ti so re mi fa. Just you. Okay, now that you've learned the melody, I want to talk about a few things regarding expression. And you might have noticed the first time when I demonstrated the melody that I used a more breathy tone. And that's something you hear all the time in popular music. It has a really emotive quality. So you can try incorporating that a few times when you're singing the melody. The second repetition, though, I took all of the breath out of my tone and used a, a, a much brighter tone and that's uh, the kind of approach that'll allow you to get louder, higher dynamic levels and play around with that, shaping your dynamics as well as your tone to give a more expressive presentation of the melody. Okay, so bearing that in mind now that you know the melody as well, I'm going to do this one more time, except I'm going to stop playing the melody for you. I'm only going to play the harmony, so you just have to remember the melody in your head and uh, find the notes all on your own. Okay, here we go. you're lost. When I go quiet on the dynamics, it's a good time to try the breathy attack.
this time we're going to do it with a guitar accompaniment simply because you're not always going to be accompanied by a piano. So as before I'm going to teach you the melody and then I'm going to let you take it away on your own. Here we go. Okay, so remember when going back over those two exercises to experiment with different tone quality to give the, the melody a more expressive character. And also remember you don't have to be bound to the solfege at all. You can use other syllables or even just hum and in that way exercise different parts of your voice. Also, if you want access to more exercises and more instruction, I put a link in the description to a digital download of precisely that. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in uh, pursuing even more singing lessons. All right, I'll see you next time.